here we go. Here we go. If I mention the name Alistair Crowley, maybe that will start to upset your stomach. Oh gosh, your dog could be shot. Hello, I'm Richard Bobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. And with me is the lovely Cynthia Julian. Hello. And we're on an exciting walk. Well, we hope so. Well, we hope so. <laughs> we, hope so. we certainly do. So, where are we? Where are we, <laughs> Cynthia? I, where are we? Well, you told me yes. that we're at Iping. Iping Marsh. Iping Marsh. Iping Marsh, yeah, this okay. is. And we're starting by this delightful house behind us called Robin's Farm. And we're actually going that way about 200 yards to find the footprint of a church that is no longer there. A bit like where we went to. Yeah, they get rid of their churches over here. Yeah, they, they, they don't like them very much. Oh, God. So that's the plan, um, except though, just to walk up there would be a bit dull. So we're taking the lovely Echo. Hey, Echo, come in. Again. Echo. How are you doing? <laughs> She doesn't speak English. No. Uh, and we're taking the lovely Echo and we're going to go on a, a sort of a mile and a half walk through some woods past some hammer streams and um, I don't think we actually passed any hammer ponds but presumably there was a lot of iron works and that sort of stuff Sounds like it. in this neck of the woods. We're near the Rother are we not? We are. Wow. The Rother. Anyway, so standing here in the beautiful sunshine in January is not helping. We need to, well it is actually, it's quite nice. We need to Onivar that way. <laughs> Right, whoops, nearly lost my balance then. We come off the, uh, the lane that we've just come down and we're going to turn down this way. It's a very short walk we're doing because we want to get to the church yard because there's some very sinister stuff. Didn't mention that? If I mention the name Alistair Crowley or Crowley, depending on how you want to pronounce it, maybe that will start to upset your stomach. But we don't want to tell you too much too soon. But Cynthia. Yes. Spring. And Wait, it's gorgeous here. It's January. What's going on? We've mm -hmm. seen elements of spring. What have we seen? Snowdrops. Snowdrop. Beautiful, lovely little tiny white and the snowdrops. Catkins are really long and starting to get pollen. Catkins. Yeah. So the, uh, you were saying yeah. here, and we're a little bit north from where you, yeah. are, uh, north and west. It's earlier. Well, they seem to be more advanced than mine at home. Yeah. So it's really quite weird. Yeah, but they're lovely. Right, we're going to head and down it's this really way now. Down here. Very nice. Come and have a look at this. Well, this is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> little style to climb over here. Wibbly wobbly. Another wibbly wobbly one. So how does uh, how does um, Echo get through there? Oh, sure what are you going to do Echo? We just climbed up a hill um, up this path and we, we just passed a man with a clipboard. Didn't manage to say very much. He looked rather official but yeah, um, I don't know what he was looking at. But no, but he did have knives and things so I wondered if he was just checking the footpaths. Could be. If it was you do let us know. Right, we carry on. We're not quite near the church yet. A little bit more. There's some, there's some pretty amazing holly trees over this way. And they're quite tall, aren't they, Cynthia? Yeah, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Um, and yeah, they're really, they're really big and unusual and also We've noticed there's a lot of these stones, and I don't know if they're like old sarsen stones, because you do get some of those in Sussex. Scattered right Scattered, through here. Scattered, or um, perhaps they're just ordinary sandstone. Yeah. But we're on a bit of a uh, ridge, aren't we? So we're on the side of a hill anyway. Uh oh. There's a sign here, Echo. Ecky. Ecky, there's a sign here. It says dogs must be kept under control because there's farm animals. Right. Oh, so yeah, farm animals. 
uh, but I think we go up there and I think we get back to the road we cross over and then we'll get to this mysterious location. Problem? Yeah. They're going to shoot Echo. Oh gosh, your dog could be shot if found amongst the sheep. <laughs> ah, right, now okay. that is very interesting. Yeah, uh, tight, first they just said worry, you know, make sure you're on a lead. <laughs> now they're going to shoot them. <laughs> there is, la Echo, there is no sheep. Come here. Just have a look at that sign. Okay? <laughs> we don't want you to be shot. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. This is where we've been aiming to get to. I think this is St Mary's, isn't it? No, it's up the Good Shepherd. Oh yes, the Church of the Good Shepherd, otherwise known as Nat Flint. Um, yeah, so it's just in here. come up into the churchyard and um, this is the interesting thing there was a church here but it was demolished in 1980 I think it was um, it, it, it was I think built in the late Victorian period in about 1878 something like that there was this this church and it was all very nice serving the community but the reason I wanted to come here and this is thanks to one of the the lovely viewers Kushti Phil he, calls himself we like Kushti. We like Kushti. He comes to some very interesting places. This is um, the site of the altar that, that would have been in the church. You can basically just about see the footprint. The interesting thing about this church is why it was demolished. Um, it, the official people deny this don't they? Yes. The church do, yeah. The they church do. It was in great disrepair, but... Great disrepair, but an American chap, uh, or at least a chap who now lives in America, wrote about the Satanists who were devotees of Aleister Crowley, who was operating in the 30s and 40s and 50s. And some of his disciples on the 10 year period after his death are allegedly uh, said to have come here dug up some of the graves and spread the bones around as part of their mm. whatever it is Satanists do. Mm. And this American was, um, or this chap in America, he said his father was one of those that were dug up and it was when he was about 10 years old. He had this confirmed, I think by the church warden? He did, but off the record. But off the record. So nobody really knows. Mm. And then because it's sort of led to a lot of potential you know things going on for some reason they demolished the church i don't really buy that they demolished it because I of that know. i think they were concerned about copycat because once they get into an area maybe, digging up bones uh, it seems a very extreme thing to do does seem extreme to, uh, but there was a church here it has gone yeah. and it's one of those places that pass and you wouldn't think twice you wouldn't even see it i don't think no well, but there is this slightly more macabre story to it. Well, thank you so much for watching. We've kind of had a beautiful walk. Have you I enjoyed have. it? It's lovely. I have enjoyed it. We've gone through wonderful countryside. We've seen um, larch. We've seen holly, oh, birch, holly. oak, um, hazel, catkins, uh, those white snow things. We've drops. drops, we've had drops, <laughs> we've had and we've come to a Satanist's uh, churchyard. churchyard. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. Do join us again. 
No doubt you've got some more exciting walks lined up for me, Cynthia. I have actually. Yeah. I have. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keep them to yourself. Surprise, I will. Surprise me. I will. And the viewer. The morning before we go. That's it. <laughs> Always good fun. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. And of course, you can become a patron and help us fund these videos, which would be really nice. Information on the bottom of the screen. Till the next time, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye Echo. Bye Eki. Bye Eki. <laughs> <laughs>